the process in which Dragonborn are created by archivist Mahela Donata of the Arcane Metropolis of Merkaza. Many people find the existence of dragons quite concerning. Giant intelligent reptiles who spew the foundational elements out of their mouth fairly grant a moment of pause in any fledgling scholar. I, on the other hand, find these majestic creatures endlessly fascinating. Ever since the field of dragon study was accepted at Marikaza, an odd phenomenon was witnessed in its fledgling days. When a lone researcher would get too close to one of these living forces of nature, and inevitably perish from them, the surviving researcher would sometimes bear witness to something unexplainable. When a scholar would perish to a dragon's breath, there had seemed to have been a 1 in 100 chance that the body was not instantly destroyed, but transformed. Yes, you read that correctly, the scholar was gone and in their place, the form of what we now call a dragonborn. Further research into Dragonborn revealed that they matched the age of the person who was killed up to 30 years. Meaning if a child was killed by a dragon, a child Dragonborn would take their place. These Dragonborn do not retain any memories or mannerisms of the person who died for their creation. They are for all intents and purposes a brand new beings. Depending on what type of dragon kills the Dragonborn, it, it matches the color. Dragonborn stand at 10 feet tall when at maturity, and rarely grow larger. It has been noted that Dragonborn usually have tails of varying sizes and horns of varying arrangements. It has been documented that some of these Dragonborn carry large muscular wings on their back, but this phenomenon is quite rare and has been hypothesized to correlate to the age of the dragon that made them. Dragonborn can also reproduce in a manner similar to the lizard folk of High Marsh, in that the females lay the eggs and the males carry the eggs until hatching. Additionally, the Dragonborn have the ability to use their elemental breath weapons, which matches the type of the dragon who had made them wields. This usually develops in the sixth year of life for them. Scholars, including myself, are still in debate on why Dragon's Breath does this to some people. My stance on the reasoning is that the elemental forces of life are in the breath of these creatures, and that something so powerful and connected to the power of creation lends itself to creation by nature. However, we really don't know why it does this, but it does. You may be reading this and thinking, well, I've never seen a dragonborn before. If they are one in 100, you'd think that I'd see more. But the sad case is normally when someone is turned into them, they are promptly ate by the dragon who made them. Dear reader, I don't want you to take away the wrong thing from this document. I want you to look at dragons with fascination and want to study them. But I want you also to live, so do it sparingly. The main takeaway from this is that the world can be a scary and mysterious place. Don't be afraid to go out and figure these things out because the more we know the less scary this world is and we should leave that behind for the next generation.